China is coming, coming very soon, guys. I want to showcase to you guys the store tournament prizes and also the Jujutsu Kaisen deck that we're going to get. I think it's going to be an insanely strong deck. It's got all of the same basic cards that we've seen in other demo decks. But uh, Sukuna himself is kind of uh, really strong, actually, his ability. I just say his BP level is a little bit weak. So stay tuned with us, guys. In this video, we're going to show you the store tournament uh, prices as well as the Sukuna Jujutsu Kaisen deck. So we'll start with the Sukuna Kai Jujutsu Kaisen deck here. Uh, it's very limited resources where I can find the cards for this deck. But basically, the cards that you're going to see are exactly the same cards in the other demo decks. You got the zero cost gone right here that adds itself to hand or Ichigo. You got the two cost Yuji Itadori that's at 3,000. This one does not have two energies, but I believe the three cost has the two energies. You got Nobra here. This is a small difference here. She actually, when you play her, she allows you to draw an extra card in the sideline. Very effective blue card here. Here's the Yuji Tadori. It does raid. It does have impact, which is very strong. The only problem is its impact is not going to be very effective with the 3500 BP. Now, there is potential to boost your BP power, but holding at 3500 is actually very weak. Uh, you know, uh, uh, Gons, uh, Kilowas, uh, anything really that is played at 4 or 5 can really shut this down. So it's uh, unfortunately not that strong at 4 energy generation but uh, still you get the impact you get a lot of uh, you know effectiveness from impact impact in my opinion is the strongest ability in the game and so you get that here's the three cost two energy uh, with 3000 bp stable card that we've seen in other union arena decks here's a stronger four cost one bp uh, 3500 bp it should have been 4000 i think that would have been ma making this card kind of crazy but at 3500 just lets you draw when you attack it's not that bad. It's actually not that bad at all. Strong early start there. A lot of draw. Oops, sorry. Unfortunately, we closed that. Moving on, guys. We got the Satoru Gojo, the action 2 4 cost. He does have impact 1, which is the strongest ability in the game still. He also gets to draw when played. And then I'm not sure what this ability is going to be, but this color ability, choose one character with 3,500 or less BP on your opponent's front line and return to their hand. Now, I'm not sure what this color is. Does it say any color? Or if you, or it has to be, for example, the same color that Satoru Gojo is. I'm not really sure, but it seems like any color could be removed as long as 3,500 or less. You could put it back into the hand. Satoru is not bad. Impact plus putting a card in the hand plus drawing is actually very effective. Just not sure what this color effect is going to be doing. I'm still actually not clear on that. But let's move on, guys. We've got more cards here. Megumi, the zero cost 2K. This is the captain from the Gone Fresses deck. Uh, another Megumi one cost here. Choose up to one of your characters with 1500 or PP. It loses 1000. This is, this is the Satotozi, Satotzi, or not the Satotzi. It's the um, the big fat dude in the Gone Phrases deck that remove, uh, removes this thousand. Uh, here we got the Megumi raid. Uh, choose up to one character with 1500 or more BP. It loses 1000. This is not very effective at all. This is actually a very bad card. This Megumi. And it's only when attacking. Uh, I, I don't know. This is very not effective. I guess. I guess it does shut down. I mean, this guy is at 3,000 BP, which makes him extremely weak. It does shut down the gone fresses, the big blockers the opponent has, you know, makes them 3k. But the problem is you have to attack with Megumi first. Which is not a big problem. You still get the effectiveness of the 1,000. It could be very strong, could be very weak. It honestly, it depends on how uh, established you are on the board. But re honestly, removing 1,000 BP every time you attack is kind of strong, actually. It makes it makes uh, the Sato, uh, the Yuji at 3,500 not feel that bad anymore. You know? Anyways, moving on. We got the Tokyo Jujutsu High School. It's a very interesting event here or site here. It comes in uh, active. And then what it does is every time you use an event, if you side it, arrest it sideways, you get plus 1,000 to every character. So another way to get that Yuji Itatori and Gojo and the Megumi to 4K and above is using the Tokyo, Tokyo Jujutsu High School. It's a little bit hard to push off, but here I'll show you some of your strong events, guys. You got Diversion Fist, which is the same removal that every other demo deck has. It's a little bit stronger than the Fishing Rod, but choose one of your opponents 5K or less BP on the front line. Return to the hand. If Yuji is on the board, then just sideline it. 
So you return to the hand or you just get rid of it completely if Yuji is on the board. Very, very strong. And then finally, the domain expansion is the Bankai, Bankai for the game. Domain expansion, what domain expansion does is... Oh, I'm kind of logged. Oh, I don't know what happened here. Domain expansion, it's what Bankai uh, stands up to of your... Uh, non-active uh, non active action points. So uh, basically you get two extra action points for the domain expansion, which is very strong. It's your Bankai, it's very, very strong. You're gonna run this at four. Also, this is your healer. If you have zero life, you heal one. So this is your, so you're gonna run this at four. So basically it's a very balanced demo deck. Uh, in my opinion, it's going to be very popular. I mean, that re reduction of power actually could be very effective. Doing it every single turn, minus 1,000. I, I thought the Megumi was kind of weak because it doesn't have impact. But being able to remove 1,000 PB from the strongest opponent is actually, actually huge. Because even if he gains BP, it still is minus 1,000 for the rest of the attacking phase, which is very, very strong. But yeah, guys, now we're going to switch uh, gears and talk about the pricing for the store tournaments starting in October 1st all the way to December 31st. These are the actual tournament packages that we're getting. Here we are. Schedules from October 1st to December 31st. It uh, starts at September 17th. The November tournaments... Uh, Start in October and December tournament start in November. So, so basically a month before the store tournaments, you're gonna start, you know, having a small variety of different tournaments, I guess. Or I'm not sure what this is. Basically, they're all the same prizes for all three months, apparently. And uh, here we are, guys. We'll show you some of these cards. The winner. Uh, this is Bakia. This is actually not existent anywhere in the game. So it's not that they're giving you alt arts. Byakuya. It's that they're actually giving you cards that are not existent right now. At least we didn't get to. It's potential that we will get this in the set. When, the, for example, the Bleach booster box comes out. We'll get this. So this is kind of foreshadowing of what we're going to be getting. But, uh, but they're going to have this winner stamp. So this is probably an alt arts. They're not like exclusive obviously but this is showing you also what we're going to be getting in the set because i can't find anywhere where we're going to get these cards i can't find anywhere where i can get the set but here it is um byakuya at three when play choose up to one of your characters opponents front line it loses 500 bp not very strong uh color play any purple character card with two or less required energy and one ap cost from your sidelines set to active onto your front line this is actually extremely strong ability i guess this is the trigger Oh, so these are trigger effects. So that's how he triggers. That makes sense because in the Jujutsu Kaisen, he, there's no, he's not raiding. So if you don't raid and you're a big uh, character, you still get a trigger effect. And that's what the trigger effect is. Okay, cool. That makes sense. Kilowa here uh, is another Kilowa. It's not the one that removes cards. But uh, it draws a card, then place one of your cards into your sideline. Not that bad. It does have the 3000 BP. And its trigger is pretty strong. It removes another 3,500 from the front line and return to hand. So the trigger can slow down the opponent a little bit. Next, we have Kento here. Two action points. Very expensive. This character gains impact if you have 15 or less cards in your deck. So as long as you're playing the game, uh, you will get impact very, very early with this. You could get it very early because you start the game with basically 35 cards. So as long as you draw 20 cards within like five turns which is two to three a turn i guess it's three to four cards a turn which is possible with your action points with the effects with uh, other stuff with events you will be able to draw and then you will be able to get yourself down to that impact level you may place seven cards from your sideline into your removal area if you do draw three cards oh it also allows you to draw very very effective also its trigger is return to 3500 power to hand this is very strong triggers actually it's kind of scary to go against the jujutsu kaisen when all their triggers return your cards to your hand this is very scary because not only do you does it allow them to survive a little bit stronger in this turn it actually forces you to not be able to block it's one card less to block with next turn which makes the jujutsu kaisen deck much more effective than usual because he you could have four people on the field but if this triggers, now you only have three. 
Let alone, uh, you could have attacked four times. Now you can only attack three. But now you can also, not, you were going to block four times. Now you're going to only block three. So it's extremely effective to remove cards from the board using triggers. It's absolutely insane. So removing a 3,500 is insane. Because, you know, with a little bit of manipulation, you can get, remove the gone fresses. You know, you could remove 500 easily. Where was it? Where was it? it was, was it this one? There's one card that removes 500. Oh, well, Megumi removes 1,000 every time he attacks. So you can stick that on. But there's another card that removed 500. Oh, this other Megumi as well removes another 1,000. There was a card that gave you 500. I forget what it was. I don't know. Uh, maybe, maybe I forgot, but uh, basically there's Megumi. Megumis are going to be very effective because they're going to reduce the power of the card in front of you. And so you can actually get rid of 4K, 5K power cards very simply with triggers. It's actually very effective. And then finally, this is the Code Geass card. Very cute. Wow. <laughs> really cute. This character gains all abilities listed below if you have the required number of pizza affinity cards in your sideline. Two or more pizza cards, play this character set to active. Four or more, again, she gets impact one and six or more during your turn. This character gains a thousand. Now, I'm not sure where this pizza affinity is going to come at. What is the pizza? Is the affinity right here? The Ashford Academy, maybe? I'm not sure where the affinity is going to be. Yeah, right? It's going to be here, like the Zoltic family? I'm not sure. We'll see. But yeah, that's very strong. Could be an impact, a uh, double attacker, and it can come into the board set active. So you can attack with it turn one. It's very, very, very strong. Also gets plus one now. So you can go to 5,000 BP when attacking with the double attacker and an impact one. So, so strong. Stronger than that um, clown. Guys, I got more cards here uh, to show you. Some of these are actually just alt arts from the demo deck. So here's the Renji. If this is in your front line, uh, place the top card of your deck to your sideline. If you do, remove 500. So this is Renji, the demo deck Renji. Here's the Gone Fresses, the zero cost Gone Fresses. This is another Gon Fresses. This is from the set, from the actual uh, booster box. This is not from the demo deck. It says draw a card when played and then uh, remove a card from your hand to your sideline. Very strong, very effective. Allows you to go through your deck really early and get that energy as well. Very, very strong. I think this will be replaced. This Gon will replace the zero cost Gon from the demo deck. Um, I got also a couple of things here to show you guys. Saruta, Saturo, Gojo. If there is a blue or purple card in your opponent's field, reduce this card's required energy by one in your hand. So this doesn't actually exist anywhere. I don't see it in the demo deck. So this It doesn't matter that all the energies are yellow. You're forced to only play the the Jujutsu Kaisen yellow energies. That's what, the way I understand. I could be wrong. And then finally, Lelouch, Lemproj, the Go Code Geass booster set card. Look at the top seven cards of your deck. Reveal up to one Pizza Affinity card from among them. Add it to your hand. I still don't know where this Pizza Affinity is going to show up. Put them in your hand. Place the remaining cards on the bottom of the deck. So let's use search. Very cheap. Has a strong trigger that re re returns cards back. I, I love these triggers that return cards back. It is on red energy, so it's going to be very interesting to see. 
And then finally, guys, we're going to show you guys some of these action points. Very sexy action points. Very cute. This is going to go for a lot of money, guys. I'm not going to lie. These action points are going to go for a lot of money. Especially this golden one. This is going to be very popular. I can tell this golden one is going to be freaking popular. And then they all look amazing. I'm not going to lie. They look freaking amazing. And uh, yeah, guys, uh, that's really it. The judges obviously get their own uh, rewards. But we really can see a lot of cards from this. We can see a lot of cards coming in the set. There's the Saturo that does show up in the demo deck, but should be in the demo deck. It's still in, in the booster set. There's the Code Geass, guys. Uh, draw a card and place one card from your hand to your sideline. Very cool, very cool. Yeah, guys, that's all I wanted to show you guys. I wanted to show you the Jujutsu Kaisen uh, demo deck and also all the revealed uh, prizes that we're going to have in the store championships. I'm very excited for Union Arena. I'm actually going to be extremely serious about this game. It's very hard to find gamers right now to play. So if you guys want to play, join my Discord. I'm always trying to look for people to play with. Join the Discord. I'm going to fix this uh, channel, but... Uh, join here so we can actually play the game and we can actually do stuff on the game so come hang out let's play the game let's have some fun stop by come to the union arena let's looking for game tts or webcam and let's let's play some games guys but besides that uh that's all i wanted to show you interested in your opinions what do you think about the pricing what do you think about the jujutsu kaisen deck leave a comment down below and uh, make sure you guys subscribe and like and let's get going let's